rock pools are everywhere along beaches in the Cape. And they're filled with all sorts of goodies if you know what to look for. Roshana Gray spends much of her time wandering the beaches of the Cape and she's teaching others how to forage. In our uh, foraging courses basically what we do is we have an introduction um, we do a little history on seaweed and coastal foraging in other countries as well as our own um, and the list of sustainability rules, uh, do's and don'ts um, and then we go out and we play and we search and it's just amazing to watch adults turn, in, turn back into children. <laughs> back in the day foraging was common across the world. Our Paleolithic ancestors, they lived on this diet of omega rich seafood and mussels and seaweeds and then they also had a, um, a diet of fainbos like the, the carbs from bulbs and geophytes um, and with this amazing diet it changed their cognitive thinking. The principles of foraging are quite simple. Gather when the tide is low, don't deplete the food and you'll need a special license. But never gather what's already been washed up. So foragers never actually pick stuff up off the beach. You actually go and fetch it yourself on the water line. You don't want to become ill from picking it up off the beach. And fresh is always best. Admittedly, forage food won't be everyone's idea of a good meal, but the freshly picked seaweed is rather tasty, even for our four-legged friends. Given the fact that food prices are on the increase, it's easy to see why coastal foraging could become a very popular pastime. But one of the most important rules is to consume in a responsible and sustainable manner, so that the resource could be around for future generations to enjoy. Gavis Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.